Tamara. I'm used to calling you Tammy. You can call me Tammy. I can call you Tammy, okay. But I, I want to call you whatever you want me to call you. Tammy's oh, Tammy's good. Okay. So Tammy, wow, when we went to get her book, they had two, and I think she's on number six. So Women Innovators, Leaders, Makers, and Givers. Um, she is really making a huge impact in spreading the message of innovation and women, and super glad that you're here. Thank you. Why did I write this book? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm here representing 64 women. Each one of these books has eight authors. And I didn't actually write the book. I interviewed women about themselves because in November, it seems like women woke up one day and they were like, oh my goodness, I don't have a voice. And the Saturday before Thanksgiving, I literally woke up, put a Facebook message out and I said, I'm looking for women innovators, leaders, makers, and givers, women who make a daily difference. Would you like to be interviewed to be in a book? And I thought, maybe I'll have one book. By Sunday, I had more than 30 women who had stepped up and said, Yes, I want to tell my story. I want to be in Women Innovators, Leaders, Makers, and Givers. What did I learn? I had promised these women that they'd be best-selling authors by Christmas. I thought I was going to have one book. Not eight, not nine, not ten. I actually now have ten volumes of women innovators, leaders, makers, and givers, and number six just came out. And the really cool thing is, is that each one has become an international bestseller. And sometimes I'll find it in a country, like number one in France. Who's somebody in France is buying this book? So it's really exciting. What I think that what people get will get out of these books again each book has eight authors every woman tells her story about what she's doing to be heard to be seen to be found and how she helps how she makes a daily difference in the lives of the world uh, one woman is helping with concussions training people or teaching people how to deal with concussions. I have women who are healers. Other women are attorneys, doctors, just a variety of people from all walks of life. And what brings them all into the commonality is that they have a story. And the really cool thing that I like to see or tell people is that each one of us has a story and I'm really inspired because for example when Keith said what is your purpose and I look back at my life and I was in the Girl Scouts I got my Girl Scout scribe badge so this started in what third grade my mother was a writer she used to send me to the post office with her manuscripts in the box and I would shove the manuscripts over the counter. The postmaster would say, how much should I insure it for? And I would look at him and I'd say, oh my goodness, it, it probably millions of dollars. This, this is worth a lot. This could be a best-selling book. But sadly, in 1985, my mother died without ever having her books published. And so it's as if my mission has become that I am the messenger's messenger because each woman who is in these books has this big message and this big mission. 
So Shannon had said, what would you like to offer to the audience if they buy one of your books? I actually have a radio show, and there's actually two. One is called Business Innovators. The second one is <gasps> Women Innovators. And so my offer is that if you choose to purchase one of my books, which I'll gladly autograph, I will, I would love to interview you on one of the shows, Business Innovators or Women Innovators, because that would give you the opportunity to have your voice heard. And I think now more than ever, it's important that each one of us tells our stories so that we don't leave the earth like my mom did without leaving the legacy, without being published, without knowing that our lives mattered. Where can you hear the radio show? If you go to businessinnovatorsradio.com, you can listen to it on demand, or womeninnovators.com on demand. It's on iTunes, Streaker, Spreaker, Stitcher, <laughs> YouTube, and Blog Talk Radio. Uh, it's, um, also, I have a magazine that goes with each one of those radio programs. So you can actually uh, consume it either by listening or reading. And of course, the interviews are transcribed in the book. And like I said, each person in the book has a phenomenal story. And what it says to me, like I said before, is that we all have a voice and we ha all have this big message and a big mission and it's literally our job to share it with the world because each one of us can make a difference for someone else. Yeah. Any more questions?